Earlier today we saw a version of Melodyne that appeared to do something impossible by extracting notes from a polyphonic file and allowing people to edit them independently. Now I'm going to ask Peter some questions about this because he invented it and I'm going to try and get him to tell me how it works and he's going to try and avoid telling me because this is how it, <laughs> how it goes, isn't it? But you will tell me what it does. Yes, so what, sure. what are the limitations of this? I mean, presumably you, you can't put in an entirely a complete Beethoven symphony and extract the first violin and change that. That would be asking rather a lot. Yes. Uh, I think uh, the main point is, or what, is, what it is aimed for, is um, uh, manipulating uh, single instruments that haven't been uh, able to be manipulated before, like guitars or pianos, or so instruments that are, that are consistent in themselves. But you also could uh, put in a whole mix or a string quartet or, or stuff, uh, but um, what it won't do is extract uh, a single voice out of it. So it's more like what comes out is more like a, a piano extraction, so that you have the notes that are in there, but you don't necessarily know what voice did, did it play. Yes. yes. So if two instruments play the same note at the same time, the software would treat it as a single sound? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. yes. So that's the main limitation of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but if it plays the same note but at slightly different times, maybe so they're overlapping, it can then identify the two different yeah, start it, times. Um, it uh, depends on the context. Uh, yeah. it, sometimes it will find it, sometimes it will not. Mm -hmm. So, but mainly it 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 extracts notes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what we saw yesterday were some quite complicated acoustic guitar parts, mm -hmm. which you managed to separate the notes and then move them about so you could do your old tricks of rearranging, turning major chords into minor chords, lengthening notes, all the things that we're used to seeing with the traditional Melodyne software. Yes. And yet, from what I understand, this, this new magical piece of software is, is not going to be sold at some huge price, but it's an upgrade to the existing Melodyne plugin. Yes, yes. Uh, we wanted it to become a kind of uh, usual uh, that people use it, not just, well, it's always a de decision if you make it a, a very rare product or a very high priced product or if you we just say um, it should be used and that's what we decided. Of course there will be a Melodyne version that's more, that's capable of a lot more things uh, like uh, that the harmony uh, is all over the piece or the tracks know each other and this will only be in the big version of Melodyne because uh, there has to be an infrastructure for that. It's not possible in a plug-in but the first product will be the plug-in. Okay, and as I understand it you can also extract a MIDI file from this after the analysis has been done. Yes, sure. So you could effectively do some of the guitar synthesis tricks in non-real time. Yes, but it's all non-real time. Yes. yes, of course, it has to analyze what's, yes. what's been going on. Yeah. Okay, so how did you first get the idea for this? Because people have been talking about it for many years, but it, yes. it's, it's always seemed to be impossible and require huge amounts of processing. Yes, well, um, I don't think it's so much about uh, amount of processing. Um, it's more like getting the idea that it's possible at all. Uh, when I'm thinking about it now, I don't really know what are what should be impossible? So um, I just worked on it and uh, went step by step, and uh, I saw well here's information in the spectrum and anywhere, and so and just looking carefully at what is there, and you can extract it. Extract it. That's yes. not so difficult. So the first step is to identify the starts of the individual notes, I would imagine, yes. and then after that you look for the the fundamental and all the harmonics that belong to that note. Yeah, not necessarily the starts of the notes because if you, for example, have a violin, it will start very softly. So you can look at the uh, of the body of the note first. Or if you detect uh, onsets, you can uh, assign these onsets, for example. To so it's a, a kind of a complex process, but not with a certain trick, but just with certain diligence due to the material. Okay. Yeah. So, the release date is end of the year, I believe. So, yeah, is, it, is, is there a lot of work still to do? Hmm? Is there yeah, um, I think. Um, well, what I'm running now is my laboratory version, 
and Melodyne as it is it doesn't has doesn't have the infrastructure to handle these uh, polyphonic stuff in terms of that you can uh, select multiple notes and stuff. This is more, this has been made ten years ago for monophonic material, and we have to create the infrastructure to handle it. Okay, but we'll have a, a similar kind of visual interface to the one you were showing us, yes. where you put in a single polyphonic file, and this expands yes. into a, a yeah. polyphonic display. It, it will be quite the same. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Well, we shall look forward to trying this out. It's a very exciting product. Okay. Thank you, Peter. Thank you.